In September, I traveled to Natural Bridges State Beach in Santa Cruz, California, to present a watercolor workshop to 12 lucky watercolor artists. The following is a speeded up video of my afternoon painting demonstration of the view looking north. I call it the gazebo view. Before I did this painting, I did a field study which is on another demo video on my YouTube channel. You may want to watch the field study demo before you see me doing the final painting. We are sitting on a rock shelf with a great view of the natural bridges and the view north. You will hear the crashing of the waves and my exclamations, marveling at the drama of the place we are painting. It is a privilege to share this information with you on YouTube. Okay, good. So what I'm doing is I'm turning my paper, paper upside down. I have it, the painting laid out here. And I'm turning the paper upside down and I'm just gonna wet the paper down now with water. I don't have to be too careful if I slop over my uh, slop over the, the rest of the painting, but I'm putting plenty of water on here so that it gets totally wet, so that I can have my colors swim back and forth. Oh, good. It's one of my favorite parts, too. Okay, so let's do something here, something magical here. Now I can do something, huh? Let's see what we're doing here. Just this, this yellow paint. This is Hansa. I believe this is Hansa Yellow Deep, in case you're interested. I like that color. Huh? That's one of my favorite yellows. Is it? Yeah. So there's this, there's this t teacher asked this kid, the kids to uh, make a sentence using the color green, pink, and yellow. And, and so Timmy says, I can do it. And Tim's, Timmy says, the phone rang, green, green. <laughs> I pinked it up and I said, yellow. I gotta get this down really fast because it's, the paper's gonna dry on me. So let's see what this does. If I do that. Okay, now let's see if we can do this. See if we can get something going like that. See, while it's still wet, you can put more paint on, but once it starts to dry, that's it. No more. Wow, that's kind of bright, huh? But I guess I got inspired so let's see here. The bead. The, the magical bead. Very important. The bead. So you can do anything with the bead. Once you get the bead, so the bead you can follow it down. It's a lot lower than the other one. Yes, I wanted it to be lower. Because this cliff has to come up. See, this cliff comes up quite high. And I got the gazebo here. So this is really a sky painting. Anyway, that's good enough for the sky. I'm gonna go like that now and re try and reclip it here. There. All right, so should I do the water next?
So this is this first one is the hardest one of all. Yeah, it's already dry. Look at that. So then let's. So the next one is larger and touching the last one, leaving some white reflections. Wow! Look at it. Just the wave crashed over there. I wonder if I should. No, I don't. Gotta put it in. I can put it in the next one. I kind of like that. Kind of like that happening there. You know, that's the thing about watercolor. You, the happy accidents. Notice I'm not using the point of the brush to do this. Using this, I lay the brush down and just lay it in. Maybe you want to put a wave right there. So let's let's do that. All right, now these um, fingers that come out. I'm thinking that maybe I should put the fingers in next. Burnt sienna, maybe some yellow ochre. Some actually, that's um, not yellow ochre. That's raw sienna. I got one here, I got one there, and then this one, there's another one here. It's not dry yet though. So one thing I'd like to show you on this, say I've got this one here. So if you look at them, and then you see the water running off. So those are the little, uh, Little waterfalls. Oh man, it just. Wow, did I, I'm missing something here. That's better. Now this one here, this is the uh, cliff that's in there. And there's, I see there's some yellow over here, some yellow down in here. All right, my miniature water falls. So now we've got to do the dark. So I'm gonna use burnt sienna and cobalt blue. I think I got it on there. See what a nice gray that makes, beautiful gray. There we go, that's burnt, cobalt blue, burnt sienna. And then, oh man, it's just amazing what's going on over there. So then this go right over this. So when you want two colors to come together nicely, you just go, you just do the, put the darker color over the lighter color and it, it, it does it for you. Keep that light. So I like to have, I like to soften the edges of things. It's good to have lost and found edges in the, in the same painting. Boy, it sure is noisy, huh? That's great. One of the things I like about plein air painting at the beach like this is that it's such a dynamic environment. There's so much, so much drama. The crashing of waves, the sound of the waves, and the sky, the big sky and everything, it's just it's so dramatic. Let's get some more, some of this color in here. So then I'll put the green in up here and then I'll do the water and then I'll get you guys painting. Let's get some, uh, get some yellow here, yellow at the top. I wanna go, let's see, I, well I do wanna go that way. I wanna go both ways. Let's see, let's just put a little bit of, uh, Okay, so now I'm gonna do the water and I'll finish these, I'll put the darks on these later. Let's do the water while we're at it. And then, then you guys can go start painting. Yeah, see, see that really does get lighter there. I mean, it, it changes a lot. We want to have a lot of light coming in here. You really have to be paying attention to the white space. Okay, look at that, I got reflection right out there. What's amazing? Oh yeah, they're just, they're so exciting. The waves are so exciting. Be very careful here, I have to be very careful. So that's, so there's my entrance. And then I have to another one to put in here and I have the gazebo to put up there. Let's just leave it like that. So you see those fingers come out and they're, they're one color and then they have the big dark shadow at the bottom. 
repeating some of the colors in my sky here. At this point, I let the students begin their paintings, and I finished this painting without much commentary. Enjoy. Now I need to take a look at it from a distance. Let me put some in here. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the easel and then step back from it. At this point, I put the painting on my easel and we looked at it from a distance. The painting took me about 35 minutes to complete. Thank you for watching and good painting to you all.